Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be showing you how to make a standard curve or a line of best fit on Excel. So go ahead and open up your Excel and uh, create a table like this uh, with your units up here and then also like the amounts in here. Okay, so um, once you finish doing that, making your table, what you want to do is left click and then drag and then highlight all your numbers. Uh, what you want to make sure you do first is uh, get the decimal places right. So you can right click and then go to format cells and then go down to the number categories, change it to two decimal places or however many decimal places you want and then click the OK button. Okay, so our numbers are still highlighted. So go to the insert tab up here, left click and then go to where the chart area is and then on the chart area, you want to go to the scatter plot left click on it and then pick the first one left click on that and then you should get your graph right here okay so what you want to do is click on the green plus button right here and then, and then click on the access titles button okay so that you can add access titles right here and then we want to go ahead and um, label our access so this will be exorbitance. Okay. And let's click on the x axis text box. And then this will be concentration. Okay. And then we're good there. Oh, also the chart title. So let's just call it the standard curve for uh, right now. Um, next, we're going to add a trend line or line of best fit. So go back to the green plus button, uh, left click on that. Okay, so scroll down to trend line right here, but instead of clicking on the box, uh, click on the right arrow right there. So left click on there and then scroll down to where it says more options and then left click on that. And then this box, this uh, these options should pop up. So you want to click linear, make sure linear is um, uh, click right here. And then you want to scroll down and then this box that says display equation on chart go ahead and click that okay. and then uh, exit out of it by hitting the little x button okay so this this equation here is going to show actually first let's make the, little, the equation a little bit bigger since it's kind of hard to see so uh, highlight all the all the uh, numbers in the little text box right there go to the home tab left click and then let's make the font a little bit bigger just so it's a little easier to see okay um, so that's a lot better so what this equation shows us is um, basically the equation of this trend line right here and we can use it to find the concentration of unknown solutions uh, if we know the exorbitance okay so uh, for example um, Right, uh, let's say that we have a sample whose exorbitance is um, 0 0.45 right here. Okay, so what we could do is we could plug in the 0 0.45 exorbitance to the y value right here and then solve for x. x will give us the concentration. So if you look down here, um, I already kind of solved the equation. So for the y value, the exorbitance, we put 0 0.45 on the left and then equals uh, 0 0.0589x plus 0 0.0473. Since we're solving for x, uh, we should go ahead and subtract the 0 0.0473 from both sides. And then, then uh, once we get this value right here, uh, we, di we divide both sides by 0 0.0589. And then we get the x value. Okay, so this is our concentration. So theoretically, if... Um, a solution had a exorbitance value of 0 0.45, then the concentration should be 6.83 milligrams per milliliter. Okay. So let's let me show you a couple of more options um, for this graph. So you can kind of fix it up a little bit. So if you uh, on the x axis right here, if you click on where the numbers are, so for instance, I'm clicking on where the 6.00 is. So I double left click on it and then you should have these options pop out. Okay, so uh, let's say that you want to mm, fix the, 
the bounds. Okay, so the minimum bound is set to 0.0. .0. Basically, what that shows is on the x-axis, it starts at 0.00. .00. So what you can do is you can change it to 1 if you want. So if you change it to 1, um, and then the maximum right here, it goes all the way to 14.00. .00. But since uh, we don't have any numbers that go that high, let's go ahead and change that to 12. Okay, so the maximum bound, you change it to 12. And then the major units, um, basically right here on the x-axis, it's going to show you where the lines, uh, the increments in the line. So it starts at 1, then jumps to 2, then 5. So if we want to make the major increments uh, in, in units of 1, then we can go ahead and do that. Okay, and then afterwards, just uh, x out of here. And then you can see that we changed our x-axis. Now it starts at 1.00. Each increment is 1 um, milligram per milliliter. And then it goes all the way up to 12. Okay. We can also do that on the y-axis by doing the same thing. But this time clicking on the y-axis numbers, double-clicking, left-clicking. And then you can go ahead and change um, the minimum, maximum, the major units, uh, and so on. Okay. So... Um, if you don't like the vertical grid lines, then what you can do is just um, click on the plus button right here, and then the right arrow, and then you can just take out the major vertical uh, grid lines if you want. Okay. Or you can do vice versa, take out the horizontal ones, keep the vertical ones, or just take out both. Okay. So let's just keep the horizontal ones for now. And uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching.